the, the course readings here that are listed on the syllabus, we have two other books that we're going to be reading. This is one on Stephen Thornton's teaching social studies that matter. Are you familiar? Any of you familiar with this? There are two other books it's listed here at the bottom of the first page. We're going to be looking at this book in turn for giving us some guidance in developing the curriculum. It's really great for that. And then there's one other text that we're going to look at, which is Divided Arrival, and it's edited by Juan Flores, but it has readings and that. They're both, well this one you can see is not very long, the other one's pretty short as well. In terms of the syllabus, you, those of you who are used to the Department of Education courses, you're probably used to this syllabus. Have you seen a syllabus like this before? You have. I had, this was my first time making one like this, so it's pretty intense, right? So I don't know, I think it's 25 pages long. But um, there's a lot of information there. You'll see the topics to be discussed for every class period, um, the objectives for the course, children first core principles because this course is aligned with, with those principles and it's also aligned with the learning standards, um, methods of instruction which are the methods of instruction that I'll be using for the class, classroom practice which are the skills and strategies that you will be able to take back to your classroom with you and we'll have um, certainly focus a large part of the course on that and then the text and the readings that are due for that week are there. So all of that's listed there. And in addition, as if that weren't enough, I added questions um, to kind of focus our reading for each week. So you'll find that question or sort of it might be a, a couple of questions at the end of each um, day that's described on the syllabus. To, to talk to you about um, the course itself, the objectives for the course, what we'll be covering, and then um, if we have time, I think we'll have time, we'll get into, actually get into some of the material. If you haven't had a chance to read it, I can introduce it, and I, can, I also have a short DVD that we might have time to watch um, about indigenous populations in Puerto Rico. So, let's see, we've kind of covered some of this already. But if this course was offered in the past as a history course, and as you can note, I've changed that a little bit to incorporate, to cover the history, but we're also gonna focus on the evolution and on the of culture and cultural production of Puerto Ricans in New York, um, in addition to the history. The reason for this is because I am, I am a literary scholar, so that's really one of my, my research interests is really the evolution of culture and cultural production. Um, but I also think it's important to study cultural production in a historical context. So that's what we'll do this semester. We're gonna focus on history and we're gonna explore some of the different topics such as literature, music, and art of Puerto Ricans in New York. And we will also have several guest speakers affiliated with Central coming to um, talk to you about, about some of these different areas. Although the focus of the course is going to be history and culture of Puerto Ricans in New York City. This course is designed as an introductory course, so um, we're going to go all the way back. As you can see, it's, it's in some ways like a survey course, and it's important to understand um, production of Puerto Rican, to understand production of Puerto Ricans and the Puerto Rican community development in New York, it's important to understand some key um, historical developments of of Puerto Rico. 